uh uh hey guys welcome to my channel i hope y'all are all doing well today you already know what time it is it is time for the whether you like it or not panel. let's get it Okay, first of all, I want to apologize to everybody because y'all know my ass is never on time for not nan nothing, okay? I know if Scotty or Sakina or Ya or maybe not really me, but if it was any of them was hosted, it would be on time. You know, my ass is always late as hell, so I apologize in advance. Oh, so you so you blaming yourself right now? Mm-hmm. Oh, because when we were backstage, it was all my fault. <laughs> well, I didn't. Well, well, you know, I don't. Uh, want to it, it definitely was, was, but, but um, maybe he had some time to reflect while the music was going. Here yeah, come I, Mr. I Clean. Here come but, Mr. Clean, child. He trying to get some attention again, child. This was me well, and Mr. Josiah Clean having our little banter. Mr. Clean, Clean want to come up and say yeah. some, honey. Mr. Clean uh, was really good, okay. And that thumbnail, I just want to rub that head like a genie. Bar. Happy Monday, fun day. How y'all doing today? Cold. It is you cold. just gotta you take know, it off. Out here in Texas. I John had turned my heater off and it kind of got a little chilly in here, so I put my coat chilly on. Chilly enough <laughs> for you to put on a bubble coat, bitch? Yes. Really? Yes. Um, you, you got a problem with that? Put the heater back on. I just turned it back on. It's gonna take a while to heat up, child. It's gonna take a while to heat up, child. Oh well, you know um, his family got him in the outhouse, honey. So it's <laughs> <laughs> that got him in the outhouse. Ooh, I cannot stand that bitch. <laughs> So shady. If y'all just coming in, be sure to uh, like that. You know, like the video. Look, um, really, B is on her way. I think she's at her man house or something. So she just got up. So she had to take a shower and get herself together real quick. Fresh <laughs> um, y'all. I mean, not y'all, but um, 
<laughs> y'all covered his face up. Harris has been demoted to a friend of the panel, so that's why y'all don't really see him up here anymore because he's now a friend of the show. <laughs> so we only will see him in a limited capacity, okay? Reggie and um, Reggie has been promoted to a main. No, that bitch um, has it. No, he hasn't. No. <laughs> yes, I have. No, he has yes, it, honey. I have, bitch, you weren't at the meeting that day, but anyway, baby, this going. is. I, uh, no, if there's a meeting, I would be throwing the meeting, honey. Just remember that, okay? You well, you know, as, as part you of co-production, you know, as as part of the producers of the show, you know, I also have a hand in the casting of the. Uh, oh God! <laughs> 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 the casting director. I'm the, I'm the part-time <laughs> casting director as well. Because there was a couple of y'all up here that was about to get fired. Even Scotty was about to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me, though. Like, my you was about, to, was about to pull a Mariah hook on his ass. You <laughs> <laughs> was about to make a Scotty a friend of the own damn panel. He fucking Josiah don't start no shit now. You know, you know, people like to take shit around with it now. Don't start no shit. Hit <laughs> the laughs, guys. The laughs. Uh, I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for everybody today. What I everybody. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and get started with the tweets of the week. This episode was a lot of filler, but um, we, I'm pretty sure we will get through it. We'll, we'll make something happen. <laughs> Ooh, hold on there. Let me get my thing pulled up. All right, so the first tweet of the week, okay? First of all, y'all, when I was trying to scroll through the tweets of the week, like, it was like, that's how I knew the episode really wasn't given because it was like 90% <laughs> of tweets about the Sesame Street comment that Candace made. And hey, that's tweet. the next episode. <laughs> right, that ain't even it. Okay, calm this girl. <laughs> Why are y'all coming? Like, do she really look like a Sesame Street character? She gives a bit of baby bop. It's, yeah. <laughs> I, I say more of the count with the eyebrows. A one, yeah, two, yeah. She gives a bit of baby bob, and not to mention, but yeah, did y'all have y'all? But have y'all noticed something though? She really looks like that girl that used to be on Love and Hip Hop, Tracy Steele. She looked just like her. The crack she does look like Tracy Steele, like Steel. the person on the screen, on, child, on drugs with that facial. Child, she looked like a trans version of Tracy Steele. Oh, no. oh, oh my god. Like Tracy Steele. She be on the radio down here in Atlanta. Or she used to at least. I ain't listened to the radio in a long time. Nonetheless, mm -hmm. she do look like a <laughs> right mm -hmm. I mean a trans girl that hasn't transitioned. Oh my god. Okay, let's go ahead and get to You that. know what cuz you know the people going to get mad with your ass. That's why I try to stay away from them type of conversations. Mm -hmm. So Candace, I'm not talking to that Sesame Street character. Sesame Street character. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, wait, 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 wait now. I, I think we all can agree. Nene looks like a Muppet baby. Look like God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, clear. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't think that was Jamie Fox, Charles? <laughs> no, don't do Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do Jamie. <laughs> that is a fine man. Don't do Jamie. Wait a Ooh, ain't that the same thing? Never mind. But listen, <laughs> she definitely looked like a wax figure. Uh, you know, her and Tamar are in the same family. Let's, uh, let's move to the next week. <laughs> Show uh, that. Ron, anytime oh, this I'm sorry, this was last week's episode. Well, she it really wasn't yes, a child as boring as this. Every time Robin brings up a prenup, you know, yeah, I do that like, too. A little sassy. I'll be yeah. <laughs> sometimes love takes time. Didn't Mariah Carey sing that? Love takes time. Let me stop before this. Child, talking. no, it don't. It don't take that much time, honey. It, it don't. don't take that much. It don't take seven years. No, child. Jo Josiah, you should know how you the one that's in love up here, honey. Um. <clears throat> We're not going to talk about my personal life. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh -oh. Okay. So, he make me uh, so damn sick. Scotty cleaned so up we're with supposed that to bubble that coat on. Eddie wanted Ashley Little I'm Brandon. giving you Mary, honey. Look, Chris and Jason Derulo don't want her. 
Uh, Let's stop it. Not 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 you, Kylie. Aiden, Let's Jason. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, it's it's giving sis sis one of the moment. I mean, hence why she has R H O P in her bio. Um, but we're gonna talk about that next week. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, Reggie, I just wanted since you since you reached my bubble coat, you know, remember that bubble coat that Mary had on that Showtime at Apollo performance? Jeez, That's what I'm trying up. to give. That's what I'm trying to give right now. <laughs> Mary had the on head, the head, you know what? I got a silver one. I might put it on a cam up. Uh oh, here y'all go. <laughs> okay. She wants so, to be um, like me, child. When I tell you my throat got tight and my eyes got misty at this scene, Wendy is such a good mom and it shows her in um interactions with her kids, but especially Cameron. Eddie is an amazing and present father too. Such a beautiful family. Yeah. I like them. I like Wendy and Eddie. My mama loves Wendy and Eddie. And I be getting mad when people be trying to because I've seen I've seen people talk about like the different men on the show and like the different couples. And a lot of folks be trying to call Eddie ugly and shit like that. And I feel like he looks better than some of the men on this show that they like. I seen it. I saw it on a message board one time. Like, um, and it wasn't LSA. <laughs> So mm-hmm. anybody think I'm talking about them? But no, but no, Fuck they them colorist bitches. Because they was, they was saying, saying, he me. is fine. Like I heard somebody, I saw, I really read somewhere. It was like someone, someone was like Eddie was fine, and then they was like, no, he not. And I'm like, how is he not? And Juan looks the best. No, the fuck he doesn't. I, I mean, ain't never seen it for that Juan. Used to be my bae. I ain't never seen it for one though. I ain't never yeah, seen I mean, one. Might have been back in 1993, but it's 2000 and almost 23. That means that was almost 30 years ago. He was fine. Well, if you don't take care of your skin, you know your black will crack. But that- um, anyway, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> no Your comment. I'm always when surprised you, when you marry Robin, your black crack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, well, um. Now, this was supposed to be a candy lab, <laughs> but I didn't. I um, was- Reggie, Reggie, you got, are you, you trying to call Robin a succubus? Is that what you're trying to do? What the hell is that? Someone that sucks the oh, witch. Okay, Why I figure. I know it's going to go. I'm not going to drag Robin up here. Y'all know how I love me some Robin. And now I'm actually beginning to like Mia. So we're not going to drag well, Robin. Oh, 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 that's a, oh, you double trolling what? now. You double he trolling. Likes, <laughs> I mean, Josiah <laughs> likes men. Of course he likes Robin. I'm just kidding, guys. Yeah. Just kidding. Wait, Every time Jeremy me. speaks, Cause Mia a Hispanic male, it does something to me in my inside. That shit had me cracking up every time. <laughs> Not a Hispanic male. If y'all watch Jeremy Speaks reviews, he be calling Mia a Hispanic male, and that. Shit- <laughs> and she not just a Hispanic male; she a Hispanic male on meth. Oh. oh, oh my God, guys! Okay, um, okay, so let's go ahead and get the show started. Okay, I got I some screenshots can't. for y'all. Yes, I sure do. I got some screenshots for y'all. Um, let's go to the first scene. <clears throat> Hold on, somebody, wait, wait, Josiah. Before you even get into that, not not to try to, you know, but somebody in the chat wanted us to, um. To address what Giselle and Robin said, oh, um, watch what happens live. I didn't see it, so I don't know. I didn't watch it um, in its entirety. I just seen some clips. Um, I seen like maybe two or three clips, but we all know they lie. Yeah, y'all talk about that while I get my pictures organized. Okay, so on um, watch what happens live because I don't think Reggie seen it either. So on um, watch what happens live. Andy asked um, Giselle and Robin about how they felt about everybody coming at them about their hypocrisy in regards to the way they treated Mia when she assaulted Wendy to the way that they treated Monique when Candace, when Monique assaulted Candace or whatever. So Giselle and Robin said it's apples and oranges. It's not the same as apples and oranges. So Andy was like, is it? And then they, they was like, yeah, Giselle was like, yeah, it is like 
Monique was beating Candace up. This is just water that someone threw across the table. Like, it's just water. Like, it's not the same thing. It's, it's someone just threw, threw some water. That's all it is. It's not, it's not a total mm -hmm. beat down like Candace and Monique. Then she said, on top of that, I don't like Wendy. So I internally kikied about it. And then Robin said that, <clears throat> what'd she say? Oh, bully why be trying to get in. Why accountable? Um, well, yeah, why are they the accountability police? And then bully be. See, y'all go already. It's so good to see I you. I didn't even get a chance to say hi. Bully B. Hey. Yes, uh, Akeen, yes, I love that. Honey. Don't watch the first uh, five minutes of this live. <laughs> I already heard you was being shady as hell, Joe. You, know you know what? I'm gonna go back and look at the first five minutes. <laughs> you gonna get in my ass? <laughs> in the first five. In the first five, honey. Okay. But then, you know, Robin said that she was trying to, in so many words, basically what CC Freak said, she was trying to say that she tried to save Wendy. That's why she was telling her not to antag not to not to antagonize Mia. So, you know, so Wendy wouldn't cause Mia to respond a certain type of way. So that's basically what they were saying. So based off of what me and Sakina just told y'all, what are y'all thoughts on it? Because I saw Sakina in the comments. Mm. Sakina said they lying. I'm so tired of that square chin bitch always making up some <laughs> shit and patronizing some other fucking body, looking like the mom off of Bob's Burgers by the face. I'm sick of it. <laughs> it was like Robin's favorite word, from what I can gather from like the two clips that I seen, was fucking context. Everything. It was taken out of context. You didn't see the full context. Girl, context my ass. We seen all that we needed to see. Girl, she just learned that word last lying. week. That's why she kept saying it. Hey, y'all lying. It is it's clear. Nothing else to say about it. But I'm interested to see because I mean they're gonna ask the same questions at the reunion. So it's like what else y'all gonna come up with by the end? And I also think they missed the point. They they missed the point with the colorism question on Sherry Shepard, and they missed the point with this. Nobody is saying that it's because even when it happened, nope, I gonna say nobody. The point isn't whether it's the same as far as the level of aggression. The point is your reaction mm -hmm. isn't the same. Mm -hmm. And you've admitted, both of y'all have now admitted that y'all's reaction is based off of whether y'all like this person or not. So because y'all don't like Wendy, it was cool for Wendy to be treated that way. But I guess y'all y'all didn't have no... So I guess what y'all are saying is that at the time, I guess y'all liked Candace. But it's not about the level of aggression. It is your response. And mm -hmm. that's the problem. And the same thing with the colorism question. Nobody said whether y'all... Their response was, well, we don't... We don't listen to okay, what people to say and the blogs media. don't pay us. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Um, because I was going to do a live about this, but since I, I didn't, I'm going to just go ahead and say it right here. And Y'all can call me Bully B all y'all want. Bully let me say this, let me say this to y'all, you, both your little green-eyed bandit bitches, okay? Oh. What the, the point is, y'all <clears> didn't <throat> answer the question. And for y'all to say that the bloggers don't pay y'all, the bloggers absolutely do pay pay y'all. Because if the bloggers wasn't talking about y'all asses, and the bloggers wasn't reviewing this show, and the bloggers wasn't telling people, uh-oh, this is a good show, y'all need to go watch it, guess what? That shit would have been canceled, and your ass would have been back doing whatever the fuck it was you was doing before to make a little bit of money. Robert, we know what your ass was doing. You was moving back in with your mama and daddy because your house was going up for foreclosure, okay? So, at the end of the day, you absolutely... You absolutely owe it to the bloggers and the fans to address their concerns, whether I agree or not. You owe it to them. So for you to sit there on the Sherry Shepard show and be like, I don't care because they don't pay me and I don't pay them no mind. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck you. Oh, period. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> what set that motherfucker yeah, up? Right. That made me mad when they did that shit. Oh, that made me mad. Oh. But another thing, another thing that got me about this whole thing was this right here. Uh, not really, be damn. Robin gonna say, 
Why are we the accountability police? Ain't this what y'all appointed yourselves to be? Yeah, no, no, no. They told, but remember, that's what they told Karen. They tried to well, put Karen, it on I feel like you could have said something or done something. So y'all right. not the accountability police, but Karen's supposed to be bitch. Right. Y'all don't want to be the accountability police, but y'all don't, yeah, because y'all don't want to take accountability for the hypocrisy that y'all shown. At the end of the day, whether it's exactly. apples or fucking oranges or not, the it's still violence against someone. And y'all still reacted a different way. Just like it wasn't right for Monique to put her hands on Candace, it wasn't right for Mia. Because Mia didn't just throw a drink on Mia. She also hit her with her purse and had to be held by security. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it could have gotten even worse she off than it, where right. it was. Like, let's not do that. So, like, right, but Robin and Giselle don't never take accountability. And by the way, speaking of Watch What Happens Live, one of our former um, hosts on Whether You Like It or Not panel was featured on Watch What Happens Live the other night. So shout out to Jay Lee. It. Shout out to Jay Lee. She was on Watch What Happens Live the other night. Shout out to her. She was on there or? She was one of the people in the. In the audience? Not in the audience, but you know when they call you know they, in. They get questions. They take questions. Yeah, and they oh, okay. questions, and she was on the screen. So Okay, that's oh. what's up. That was for that same episode? It wasn't for this episode. I think it was a couple. Of, I don't know. I forget which episode it was. I know it was probably a couple of days ago, but she was definitely on there because she was asking. It was the episode with Morris Chestnut and all of them. Oh, was and Ashanti. I didn't watch yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, I don't call the Jelly Bean Maverick. What does that mean? Vanessa Williams, Angie Martinez, Doja Cat, Eartha Kitt didn't have a meeting with Wendy like they did about with Shamar Robin, Ashley. Oh, he's calling them different names. Okay, yeah. I was like, what the fuck Arthur Kent got to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I gotta say this about Giselle. She, on Watch What Happened Live, she looked the best that I've ever seen her since she was an AKA in college. Where? You seen her look her best where? <laughs> on Watch What Happens Live. That's the best I've seen her since she was an AKA in, AKA in college because I haven't seen her look that good at any time on the show. On her any outfit. season. And we in what season? Seven. She hasn't even looked that good for a reunion. The last time she got drugged, her hair wasn't even done. Well, she, she don't never have no part, but she did well, look good. It was in the middle of a pandemic, so maybe funds was limited. Well, everybody else's hair was done, even Candace with that motherfucking wait, nutty wait, professor wait, wig. Wait, what funds? She has her friend, is it Kyle, Kyle, whoever he is, he does her hair and everything else. Like, what budget? And I can tell every time. I can tell, tell that her friend be doing her hair because it'd be real bushy and thick in the roots and, and <laughs> big. But, but, yeah. It's giving very much helmet every time I see the bitch. Even when she was on Watch What Happens Live, you know, the hair was looking better than I've ever seen it, but it was giving curled helmet. You know what I'm saying? Like, I... Okay, <laughs> okay go ahead, Josiah. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's start with the show. So, um, your girl Karen and Giselle have a moment, okay? Karen stops by Giselle Place um, and talk about their trip from Miami. Now, Giselle tells Karen that Mia has some interesting things to say about her friendship with Jacqueline. Now, and she also said that Mia admitted to taking showers with Jacqueline as well. So Giselle wonders if Mia and Gordon slept with Jacqueline together. Now, but for side note, I do have the picture of the chandelier in her house, okay? And I okay, feel like- Okay, for the that, chandelier. Uh, I tried to get the first picture I, I took. I guess I ain't uploaded. I ain't about to go back in my phone and do all that, so. Well, I'm getting tomatoes. I ain't even do nothing yet. Because <laughs> they know you're going to do something. <laughs> they already got the tomatoes ready, child. <laughs> but what did y'all think about that scene between Giselle and Kate? I loved it. I thought that oh, was yeah. vintage season one. Just um, Giselle, Karen, Shade. They were shading the fuck out of each other in their confessionals. But they were having a good time together. It was light. You know what I'm saying? Like It wasn't that nasty... I loved it. I thought it was a good moment between us. I mean, I don't know how long this shit gonna last, but I thought yeah, it was right. a really good moment between them. Yeah, I said the same thing in my review. Like, I actually enjoyed that scene. So You know something? I didn't. Oh. Why, Reggie? Why? Yeah, why, Reggie? Because, because at some point, fuck that bitch. <laughs> yeah, we might have a history, 
We might have been good at one point in time. I might not want to see you dead and gone, not because, you know, I can't live without you, but I don't want shit to happen to you just because I can't fucking stand you no more. Some fake ass bitches got to go to the pits of hell where the fuck they belong and you leave their ass. Oh, okay. And that's how I feel about that. Reggie. Reggie. What? Reggie, Reggie, boo. Who pissed in your cornflakes, boo? Not no, who he I, is, I just don't fuck with Giselle, and I don't do fake ass bitches, and that's just me in real fucking life. Once I discovered that you a fake ass bitch, especially towards me, honey, listen, it's unless we was very, very, very extremely close. Like I looked at you like a brother, a sister, uh, I love you type shit, bitch. Fuck you, and even then, it's going. <laughs> Listen, don't play with me. <laughs> you know, um, I, I, just, I, feel like, I just feel like they're frenemies, right? So they just, they, it's like they were co-workers, so we have to either fight or get along, and I think the people are tired of them going back and forth. I mean, how many seasons have we had Karen versus Giselle? Tired. I was just, the, the whole time I was watching that, I was thinking about Terrence calling her house a funeral waiting room. You know, I got a clip of that, right? And I'm gonna include it in the um the best of panel. Please, please I'm working do. On. Oh my you god, you know that clip's that clip still on my Instagram that page. Clip. Oh I need y'all help because I can't do it all by myself. Now I need y'all to send me some clips that y'all I already got episode one, two, and three. So y'all send the rest of them. But I, look, I guess we're gonna bypass the basketball wire season of this panel. Um, mm. that's fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm okay with that. I'm definitely okay with that. Yeah, no, but I want to know why happens... does Giselle insist on having that goddamn Alice in Wonderland checkerboard black and white print everywhere? She got that shit everywhere. I said, who yeah. the fuck interior design this shit? I mean, well, Damn, I wish I could have seen some house basic here. shit. Basic bitches do basic shit. Of course, you expect a basic bitch to have you know, gabardine on her motherfucking couch. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of motherfucking <laughs> couch that you expect a bitch like Giselle to have. Some shit that you sit down and itch on. What's gabardine? Some <laughs> it's real rough corduroy looking ass shit. You ever seen... Uh, <laughs> that getting, that getting fancy. With the word. The, the, the word was just... The word itself was funny to me. That's why I was laughing. Listen. It's that real, it's like corduroy. It's like some knitted ass shit. You have seen them couches <laughs> from the 70s? Thank that's you. like thank brown you. and green. My mom said thank you. Tan, but it's all knitted. So it looked like one big brown ass couch, but it's not one big brown ass couch. It's different colors just knitted and a bunch of different ass fucked up colors together that make it look like that itchy ass motherfucking brown material. <laughs> That's okay, the type um, material that it is. <laughs> Reggie, and I'll that's the type of shit that it looked like Giselle would have in her house. It looked like she got them type of suits. I mean, well, I think I did see her with a suit like that on before. Um, Just like, go ahead. Um, we're gonna, <laughs> Reggie, we're going to move to the next scene. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let him make it. Because he, 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 he ain't going to let go of her weed. Right. Gonna and keep look, going. We have, I'm pretty sure y'all have plenty of time to drag Giselle and my girl Robin, but we'll get into that later, okay? Anyways, um, let's talk about Miss Wendy. Miss <laughs> Wendy. So, Wendy, you guys, this was like a, oh my God, she looks so defeated, but Wendy was in the hospital because she had kidney stones. And, um, you know, it was a real, uh, the back of my mind was like, okay, how did she, you know, did the did the crew follow her to the hospital where she had to go for the I night? think that was her husband on his phone. phone. Oh, because yeah. you can you can hear Eddie, but you never saw him. They were on the they would she, yeah, they do that a lot when stuff like that happens and the crew isn't around. They they sent that footage in. Mm, okay, I was you know what you said. I was thinking the same thing. Now they had to, I, so somebody I, put I that in my comments rude. too. Somebody put that in my comments too. I was like, they were not walking through the hospital with a camera crew. That yeah, was, I was Eddie on his cell phone. Thing. I was like, I know. Now when they got home, that him. was that was a that was a stage scene. When she came home, her ass was walking off slow. You you see, she had a new wig on. Okay. Well, I, suggest, yeah. I said the same thing. I said, now, Wendy, who the hell did your makeup? 
<laughs> hey, she, hey, she said, look, I she like, if you gonna feel me, I need to put a little bit um okay. on or something. They somewhere. probably had to, you know, they probably told them to reenact that. You know, reality shows do that sometimes. Like some shit, if they if they couldn't get it, they they'll have, make you they redo it. That too. Now they may have done mm. that too. Yeah. yeah, I would love to do that. I ain't even gonna lie. I was yes. out for my <laughs> reenactment. <laughs> Dress for this scene. I mean, we already talked about it, but um, let yeah. me get dressed and but, get my makeup. Fur coat yeah. and everything. Fuck you talked about. Oh, <laughs> fur coat. But um, you know that that was just that scene. Like I don't. I mean, I don't know what else could we talk about this scene. I mean, have anybody had kidney stones before? Or? I no, but I be thinking I'ma have them. That's <laughs> I be thinking I'm gonna have them. the hell? How you think you gonna have them? Because of all the damn Coca-Cola's and shit that I drink almost every day. That's why a lot of the times in the morning I get up and I go to work and I stop by the store and get some damn cranberry juice in <laughs> every morning to flush my kidneys out and have some water on my break. And then when I get home, I have a I have as many cokes as I want to. I know that they gonna oh, stop. Child me. Addiction. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I appreciate it. Okay, well, we'll we'll talk, we'll get into uh, we'll get into Wendy later. So let's go ahead and talk about Miss Candace. So Miss Candace is getting prepared. She looked good with the little red. Her body's on point. Okay, Auntie Candace's body. Um, well, I'm sorry. Candace is getting ready for the photo shoot, and you know this is like a big thing Not for her because auntie. she's filming with Trina and um. Oh, hold on. I skipped a couple things. My bad, y'all. Let me. Did you skip your home, girl? I did. Um, I skipped no, I So, Shall um, we could skip this too. Yeah. We I can mean, skip oh, this bullshit because I'm sick of her. She talking about something. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, should, should I have, should Michael, should Michael spend the night? I mean, I don't know. I've never done this divorce thing before. Am I doing it wrong? Yes, bitch. Yes. You are doing it wrong, and everybody has told you you are doing it wrong, okay? Your friends told you you're doing it wrong. Your co-workers down to the show told you. The damn lawyer that you went to see told you. Your uncle Lump Lump done told you. Everybody told you you were doing this divorce <laughs> thing wrong, bitch. I don't know who else. Need, I don't know what you need to hear. I'm just confused because her mother was a single mother as far as we know. I don't know if any of the daddies was She was ever also living under a bridge. So it's like, sis, did your Wait. mom ever co-parent with any of her baby daddies? And even if your mama didn't, I'm sure some of your parents, I mean, some of your friends, families, you know what a damn co-parenting experience look like. You drop them damn kids off to their daddy and you keep it moving until it's time to pick them up. Not her daddy, because her, her daddy didn't even claim house. her, so it wasn't her daddy. I mean, I know that, but I'm saying she got other siblings. Well, so her I'm hair looks nice in that scene. Where did that bushy frizzy shit look nice then? Her hair was like it was like pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. Pull like it a up. little 1970 <laughs> style, you know. Now, that's giving very much roll around frizzy from under the dryer, but the shit didn't lay right. It's, where's the silk at, honey? Right. I'm, 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 I'm yeah, if really you miss your hair, just say that, boo. Um, we're gonna move <laughs> on. <laughs> First of all, she could have put some mousse or something on that shit, honey. It was a dry, brittle mess. Okay, it looked like she put a comb through it. It would have killed her and her ancestors. Oh my god, I am. And it wasn't given. It Damn. wasn't given natural. You know. Yes, it was. No, I'm about it to was say yes, it was, Reggie. Y'all really feel that? That's exactly what her hair looked. It looked natural. Absolutely. It looked natural as No, hell. When, when I think of natural hair, I think of beautiful. I think of natural but still moisturized. I think of nothing like that bullshit that she had going on. That shit was a mess, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so let's talk about the <laughs> okay. It's getting weird. Um, Y'all get on by um, now. <laughs> you reading the girl's back, Reggie? He really is. Because right. y'all let that bitch oh. make it. She was giving very much uh, <laughs> cheap dollar store Barbie. 
You are going in. I cannot with you. I can't. We Him and you. Bully B. They both been going in tonight. <laughs> but Bully B nothing. is being nice, though. Red, <laughs> Red <laughs> going Thank in you. on everything. <laughs> you cuss me Thank the hell you. Out. Bully B ain't saying me. nothing. Bully B. Um, okay, so let's talk about the fun stuff, okay? <laughs> so let's talk about the, the best thing of the show, and that is Miss Robin and Giselle, yes, so I like girls. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, now, yeah. Robin and Giselle. Oh, uh, y'all can unleash the show. y'all can unleash the tomatoes now. <laughs> so, Robin and Giselle are preparing to film a live session of their podcast, and you guys like. <laughs> I'm so proud of my girls because they have <laughs> thrown out 400 people. Boy, please. Seats. It went up a and 50 they sold 100 tickets. 400 seats. Oh my God. Child, I can count the amount of people deep. in there without pausing okay. the screen. So <laughs> the, <best> <laughs> on the, show. the girls with the best personality on the show are killing it. Like, oh, you know, they did. <laughs> what what other two women could y'all think that have a podcast with like Robin and Giselle? Like what? Who is? Ha- Let me hold on, Jojo. Have you ever have you ever listened to their podcast? Yes, have you? Yes, uh, I have it on my phone. Let me pull it up. Child, yeah, a motherfucking lie. Lie. <laughs> lie like a mom. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. You know lying. damn well. All the wait, phone, wait. All the I'm going to ask y'all this. Me and you have off this damn shit. All the phone, because like I said, if anybody talks to me every day, it's you and Jamar. All the phone conversations that we have, you ain't never mentioned no damn reason to be shady well, podcast because you know you don't listen to it. Well, uh, to be fair, you don't know what podcast I listen to. I have you don't listen to that one. You don't listen to that one. I have, you don't listen have, to that okay, one. I have one. I have Sarah Jake's Roberts podcast. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Lovely tea. Um, uh-huh. I have um, and yeah, they're gonna rob it in Giselle. Oh, you a damn lie. Where it? Show it. it. Uh, the bottom. Right here. Okay. You download <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Child, you ain't <laughs> never listened to that shit a day in your damn life. Like, <laughs> the listen, only time you know Josiah listen listened to that shit is when they on the show, when he had to watch it to review that. Or when they no. in the blogs. If they in the exactly. blogs and saying something stupid. He's like, oh, like, so many Hello, guys. I just this wanted to ask y'all really this. Listen to, okay? On a podcast. And you think they are? Mm-hmm. It puts me straight to sleep. Yes, it's a good night. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's in my phone. Oh, no. Hello, you need somebody with a voice that can put you straight to sleep. I have insomnia, so this is a they're in my podcast. So I don't say a shit. Awesome. Then it went from tomatoes to potatoes, child. How did they make fourteen thousand dollars off the thirty dollars? Let me say this: I bought the right here. What I was thirty-five was motherfucking dollars. But, Y'all didn't make well, now we, fifty people listen. that came. Y'all didn't make no fourteen grand See, off the thirty-five twenty-five dollars ass tickets. Mm-hmm. But no, uh, uh-uh, that's the problem. The uh, hold on, Reggie, hold on, because they weren't, and that was the problem. I was gonna go. I was going to do recognizance. I was going to take one for the team, y'all. I was going to buy them tickets, and I was oh, going to go to that damn show just so I could report it back and tell everybody what went down. Bitch, I looked up them tickets. Those tickets was like $60. I said, no, ma'am. No, what you won't do today is get $65 or $60 out of me. And that wasn't even the VIP or the meet and greet. That's why nobody went, because they did the same thing I did. They looked up them tickets like, all right, I'll go. I was thinking the tickets was going to be like $15, $20. When I looked, I don't remember the exact price, but I know it was more than what I was willing to pay. It was like $50, $60. I said, the fuck? You know what? But I don't, I don't know tickets. what, 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 what got me tickets. tickled be with your story is the fact that them bitches was not worth more than $25 to you. And right. that's what like, got me. I'm going to be honest. Like, real talk. Re- real talk. They probably would have sold out if they had sold the tickets at twenty five dollars. They but probably would have sold out. Cause honestly, I would have went. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Same thing with Karen. Now, when I went to go look up Karen's tickets, her tickets were a little more, more expensive too. But she was smart. Karen chose a smaller venue, 
And so she ended up selling out her show. But that's but because child, from the previews, it looked like it was a mess. But honestly, like, well, it the, probably was. But but also too, remember Karen also had a headliner. She had Jasmine Masters. So a lot, like I wanted to see Jasmine Masters. I was like, Karen, I like you, but I want to see Jasmine Masters. So well, she child, was. I ain't even gonna lie. If Karen, I mean, if if Giselle and Robin tickets was free, honey. If they was paying me to go to that motherfucking shit, I wouldn't have went. <laughs> oh, I would have went just so I could come back here and talk shit about it, honestly. Oh, yes, most definitely. Like, Let me tell y'all. Yeah, Karen, Karen, Karen actually had one. It wouldn't have been enough motherfucking paramedics to scrape me up off the floor from how fucking sleep that I would have been because they <laughs> thought that I was fucking dead. <laughs> you know what? Um, LTV, that's a good question. I didn't go to Monique's um live events either. Back then, I wasn't that deep into it to go. Like, like if Monique was still on the show and she had an event, I probably would because I did look into I did look into the tickets. I don't remember why I didn't go, and that's that's real talk. I did. Yeah, I still want to. Right. I mean, ultimately, you know, I, mean, I mean, y'all, are we not watching the same show? That thing was sold out, like, was packed. <laughs> people the same. People. For somebody who is probably, you know, on some type of hallucinogen, <laughs> oh. yeah, Wendy, Jackson the show might have been right packed right. out. But for sober, everyday people <gasps> that's not on any type of hard drugs. So what are you trying to? Are you shaming me and saying that I'm a delusional? Um. Well, I'm yes, definitely yes. saying that you're delusional. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I'm clearly you, you can see how cold it was in that motherfucker. Yes, it was. It was cold. freezing. It was cold as far as killing. It was. Yes, it was. It was cold. Cold. <laughs> you know when you go. You know when you go to the club and it's so empty in that motherfucker, you be cold. You got to huddle up with your friends until it get packed. That was they motherfucking live show. It was so empty and cold. Bitches needed motherfucking chinchillas. It was so <laughs> empty. And okay, it's, I have some more pictures. You could have heard a have. on cotton. You could have heard a motherfucker clap and it okay. echoed off the walls. It was Thank empty, you. Josiah. <laughs> it was <laughs> empty. Thank you. It was um, empty. It was empty. <laughs> and then when I find out that it was $60, first of all, if Beyonce had $60 tickets, do you know how that motherfucking building would be exploding with bitches who don't even like her, bitches that love her, bitches that's indifferent to her? For $60, y'all hoes couldn't pack out a high school auditorium. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on to the. And see, I have actually. This is a high school. I have the receipt. I have receipts of it being. I have screenshots. Okay, because clearly you are not watching the same show. But let's move on to the next thing, you guys. With Miss Candice, do y'all have anything to say regarding Candice in um her thing with Queen? I do love Candice ambitious. Ambition, Candace is as ambitious as hell. I think she's driven, and you know she's doing her thing. I can't even, I can't even throw shade at Candace at this point. I have nothing negative um, to say. I, I got just want to say that to say. I'm mad at Candace because I don't know why the fuck your mama back on my damn screen. <laughs> I went here last week and I couldn't say nothing last week. But see, see, this is your motherfucking problem, Candace, because you don't motherfucking learn. I don't know how many times we first we try to tell you about Ashley, you ain't want to listen. We didn't try to tell you about Giselle. You ain't want to listen. We didn't told you don't bring your damn Maddie back up here no more as she ain't embarrassed. So you done brought her back on the show. You done brought her into your house. You got your whole husband feeling uncomfortable. She's like, what the fuck is you doing? And then talk about some. Well, I just let what she say roll off my back. So you not holding her accountable. She gonna keep on doing this shit. Like, Candace, what is we really doing here? Really? Seriously? I'm confused. That's it. Y'all... Yeah, why well, I'm getting thrown chicken wings to watermelon, turkeys, <laughs> croissants, eggs, <laughs> not croissants, <laughs> apples. Damn. Let me say this about Candace. Um, but Josiah, pull the picture up again. Okay. And I actually have a picture of her in her pink wig too. Okay. She was all right, but no. Pink Friday, you know. I'm talking. Yeah. Why is she laying on the floor like she doing sit-ups like she got a hit single? Uh-uh. Don't do my girl. What does that have she, to do with her having a hit single? Because she acting like she done worked hard. Like she putting it down. She is working hard. 
fucking hard. Well, you know what? Damn, I can't help that the <laughs> effort is not working. You right. She is. <laughs> Oh, Lord. <laughs> now I didn't like the extra like the tail far from her head to her toe like the hat was cute but I was just like we need to break this outfit up I, actually seen the video. I seen the video and it was it, it didn't match the song like it was a nice video but I just wasn't feeling <laughs> the storyline of it all Hmm. It was what, no storyline. Uh, yeah, I about to say what storyline? It was just her and Trina. There wasn't no, there wasn't no nigga, nigga in there. There wasn't you no nigga in there. Like, let I me just, just say I this. Days, uh, I just want to say no with things. both of her videos, you know, drive back in this, even with drive back as low budget as it is, I've seen worse. Have y'all seen Tamar Brax's Hot Sugar? Oh, horrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that went viral before social media was a thing. We were still on message boards when that flopped. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> so I'm just saying, better. Yeah, because okay. Tamar, her, her videos was like better quality, but like her eyes was all, all big in all of her videos and shit. Trying so, yeah, to be I sexy, just, and she's not a sexy person. Uh, you know. Before she was a Muppet, she wasn't sexy. Well, right. Well, you guys, Sakina got um, she got a song for us to sing. We already talked about it in the group chat, so I'll just be quiet really quick. Let Sakina do her thing. Sakina, just close your eyes and imagine that you're on the stage with your home. Oh my girl. gosh, y'all really want me to sing this? Please, yeah. We I don't need, even have the cadence. We need something to add to our um, the best of. Yeah, we've been on a roll the past two episodes. Let me see. Hold on. Let me... Let me see. <clears throat> Cause my voice a little red. Yeah, I got you, I got you. I got you for the background, bro. bro. Okay. <clears throat> I'm so too. Y'all ready? Yep. Okay. <clears throat> if you got a problem, come see me about it. <laughs> Girl, I know you can put some more. Another problem. Place. I think you're insecure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The first line. I know the first line. Hold on. The first line, she's like, <clears throat> I'm not used to dealing with a bitch. Get over it. You assume. I'm always after something. No reason not to trust me. <laughs> yes. Who the fuck snapping off beat? Me. <laughs> Child Scotty do everything it? off beat. When we have a group <laughs> called the Canton Clan. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to hear. It was no. me, him, and his sister. That's why he muted. <laughs> <laughs> and we had this group called the Can. He muted again. <laughs> I did because just like you got control over my shit, I got control over yours too. Remember, you put me in control. Oh, uh, I need to release the power. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power. We need oh, to get <laughs> We I had a group you, called. I forgot you had control over my. You mind. muted again, Reggie. Every time you mention that shit, you get muted. Shut up. <laughs> he won't give me the. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> move on. Stop Guys, muting so me. <laughs> well, shut the fuck up. Be sure Stop to light up, light up shit. Video. Light up the video, okay? Hit the like button. Y'all, if y'all can please give me to 5,000K tonight, I would love y'all so much. I'm How many more subscribers do you need? I'm 30 subscribers. <laughs> Are you 30? You 32? I'm like about I'm about 30 subscribers away from Oh, but then first of all, you need to cut the cut the check. All the more reason I really need to talk about the Canton clan. Now. Oh. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and move to the next scene, and we are going to talk about my favorite couple, the best couple. No! Uh, and, you know, 
this is a real life conversation that we need to have. Like, you know, because it's just when I see a couple that's in so in love with each other, and um, <laughs> I just really want to know, you know, when is the everybody wants to know when is the wedding? No when one wants to know that. And nobody, also, nobody gives a um, prenup that was being discussed as well because Robin is scared that her beautiful um, boyfriend will cheat on her again. <laughs> Um, but see, you even call him boyfriend. He won't even get fiance. I mean, oh, they are. They or ex husband. I forgot. Right. So, uh, you know, any, any thoughts on this? I mean, child, this they like, standing up there looking like Freddy Cougar and Chucky. Because <laughs> she definitely was giving Chucky cheese. And the way his face was ate up and ashy, he was definitely giving Freddy Cougar. Not ate up and ashy. Well, he does. Let's, okay, let's let's talk about this. And I don't, you know, well, we always talk about these people. Even he this. thinking about it. Look at the but picture, y'all. What happened to what? What happened to Juan Dixon? Because when we seen him on season one, he was like more one of the more you know more handsome husbands. And now on season seven, he looked tired. He looked stressed out. He looked like he's aging. Because he's been living with Robin. I mean, if look you at them black circles around his eyes. He looked like he got knocked out. He's like, look, woven in the face. Like, what's going on with Warren? Because he like, fuck, I might have to actually marry this bitch again. But that's his fault. Shit. Anybody tell him to settle? Both of them. I mean, well, settle. he isn't settling. You know, she getting her 1200 a month. I mean, he needs I something. Mean, I honestly don't know why he's stressed out because he got a Cracker Jack prize. Oh, you look, you right. <laughs> you he got a cracker cereal. jack prize. He got he got the prize in the cereal box. I mean, look at Robin. Who doesn't <laughs> want Robin Dixon? Okay, Child, she looked like a giveaway room. at the motherfucking Everyone, YMCA she on is Christmas. Every man's dream. She looked like one of them giveaway ass dolls that motherfucking donate out their trash on holidays to give to the homeless. That's Hell what she no. looked like. She given very much <laughs> Raggedy Ann with that red hair. She given very much tumbleweed that's just going to roll into the dirt and be right at home. But that's y'all know why? Why Ron looks stressed too? Why? Because he out here hiding folks' secrets at work. Mm. Oh, that's how I, I mean, well, you know, Hiding the fact that your colleagues and close friends is touching on the boys up at the college. Oh, oh no! You oh, know no, 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 that's no. a very hard burden to carry. You know, I would be stressed out too. That's, yeah, that's trying to figure out how to do the right thing and protect my friends at the same the time. No joke. Two hundred and forty-two. Let me go see. Hold right. on. Let me go see what these. Hold on. We're gonna take a pause for the cause. Hold tight. Hold tight. It's 242 people in the chat. If everybody, everybody could please, if you are not already subscribed to Joe Side, we're trying to get him to 5K tonight. If y'all could please, it's four, it's Thank 242. You. I know 30 of y'all ain't subscribed to JoJo. So even though JoJo was giving me a hard time when I wasn't here, and I'm going, I'm going to roll it back, and I'm going to listen to what he said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, subscribe. I, to um JoJo's channel and hit the like button, please mm -hmm. and thank you. Because y'all really don't, y'all really don't understand that the likes is what keeps us in the damn algorithm. Like the more engagement we have, the more the videos are like. And let me just say this: really quick. I I don't know if y'all even know up here on the panel, but I was in a hospital last week because I had a re allergic reaction to a vaccine. So I was in a hospital mm -hmm. for about three or four days last week. That's why I have not um, been able to create content because I have been recovery. Mm. It was a mess. It was a mess. Oh, no, almost, JoJo. I almost. didn't know that. Yeah, he was. He, he wasn't feeling good. I was in the right. hospital, and it was bad because mm, it was a lot. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and go to the next scene, and let's talk about Mia and Karen. So Karen comes over to Mia's house, and she checks on <clears throat> Mia. Okay, so Karen is... Kind of being like the bone carrier this episode, and um, she pretty much she pretty much confirms that um, Mia pretty much confirms that she and Jordan Gordon have added a third person Gordon. to the bedroom um, activities, which you already know. And then Karen asks if this includes Peter. Mia said that she actually slept. Well, they actually slept with Peter's girlfriend. Just embarrassing the hell out of Cynthia Bailey. What the fuck? But they said they had her. But they said they had her first. Mm. 
Well, we know she be lying. Well, yeah, that no, is that's true. true. But Peter, I mean, but remember, Peter was mad. According to Peter. Wendy, Peter was mad talking about you know that that they did some foul shit to his girlfriend. I said all this shit makes sense now. That's why she threw that drink on Wendy because she thought Wendy was getting ready to tell it. Mm-hmm. I still would have told. I don't know why people think that. <laughs> no, dead ass. I do not understand that logic when people do stuff like that when they try to deflect. So you Wendy go and put your hands on somebody though. or something like that. Because then I'm gonna be right. Because then I'm be like, bitch, and that's what Peter told me. It's da 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 da. Like now I'm about to air you out. How? That's exactly what Wendy did. If y'all remember, she was like, I mean, you, you fucking, fucking Peter. Him. She mad because yeah. she fucking Peter. You know. And that was, it didn't have the impact that it was supposed to have because people thought that Wendy was just saying it because she was mad. Mm -hmm. But it was some truth to that shit. First of all, you skanky, dirty bitch. Oh, Lord. Sit here married talking about the other niggas that you fucked on camera. First of all, who does that? I mean... If that don't speak for the fact that you was a bought bitch up out the strip club that a nigga don't mind sharing, I don't know what does because there's no man, I don't give a fuck how freaky they are, that genuinely respects and honors his fucking woman that's going to share her with another man and be okay with her going off the fuck another man, watching her fuck another man. You are just some skanky ass dirty slut ass bitch that's a fetish for him that he can get off to and fuck and he just so happened to have kids and you an in-house nut bitch that's what you are well i will say this i thought that she looked really nice like she do she looked like a kim kardashian um a botched version of kim oh kardashian. my gosh and i think that she i mean i thought that she looked okay in this thing you know she did I, I that she got a, another surgery or a weight loss surgery or something and um, she looks good. Child, that was just good lighting because it was coming from outside. Natural <laughs> lighting is always best. That bitch still had them same cuts and dents in her motherfucking skin and face that she had on the last episode and the season before that. Mm. Wasn't shit cute about her from the neck down. Her body looked amazing. Wait, who? Mia. Mia. Oh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> rebuttal. There's none. She's a mess. Okay. <laughs> well, um, let's there's one more scene here with Wendy, and then we'll go ahead and get into the podcast and then the drama with that. So um Wendy comes home and her mom checks on her. And I really like her family. Like I said, like the tweet said, I really do like her family dynamic. Um, mm -hmm. I do like her mother. Now I did see some comments saying that she was bleaching, her mom was bleaching. I don't know. Oh god. Oh, I did say that first first Wendy's first season. Hmm. Well, Have y'all seen that neck in the body? Love I, Wendy, mama bleaching. I don't well, I see I don't I'm not educated on that, so I don't even know. Um but, you don't um, have to be no fire two two <laughs> tone. Let's see. Well her mom was sweet, so I wasn't looking at her like that. <laughs> oh, you yeah. don't have none to say? Right, I was just about to say that. <laughs> she you is, be already. <laughs> well, I mean, because let me tell you something. Yeah. You could be a raggedy ass bitch, but if you don't give me a look at you, <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't give me a reason to look at you that way, that's not what I'm going to see. I'm just going to see you for the person that you are. <laughs> So and when you a raggedy ass bitch trying to act like you not a raggedy ass bitch, I'ma see that you a raggedy ass bitch and be like, hey, <laughs> you got a lot of motherfucking nerve trying to act like you not a raggedy ass motherfucking bitch. <laughs> so I'm not saying that Wendy's mom is a raggedy bitch because I don't think that. I think oh that God. her makeup was two tone, but I think that she was sweet and she didn't give me a reason to look at the negative in her. So I didn't seek it. You know, but when it come down to raggedy, fucked up ass bitches, like <laughs> every time we say raggedy ass bitch, uh -huh. <laughs> so 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 just to confirm, there has been some people in your life that you feel like who look raggedy, but because it was nice, you didn't really say anything, or you was like, okay, <laughs> yeah, journalist, um, 
I mean, well, we I won't know. say raggedy. I just will say not up to my standards. Oh, mm. wordplay. It's very, it's it, that's very true. Because yeah, uh, uh, I'm not gonna uh, uh, shut up, Scotty. Please, because that's a lie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I be coming up here. There's some times that I be coming up here looking raggedy, and um, I mean, Lord forbid, I mean, y'all could be like, I can call me out anytime, but y'all don't. So. No, so Sai, you never look raggedy. Thank you. I know I do. Oh, we're gonna call him out. Uh huh. We're gonna call him out. <laughs> Before we go on air, I'm like, Josiah, why the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Because he should, yeah, Scotty called me and she's like, nah, it's Josiah, you should have done something with that hair before coming up. <laughs> <laughs> That's ever since then. I said, okay, child, at least put on a bandana or something. I'm like, nah, I'm not Josiah. <laughs> he will too. <laughs> he will get me together real quick. <laughs> But um, but any last you know scenes? I mean, any last thoughts from that scene? This episode was like a filler. It is. This is gonna be another short panel, child, like last week. <laughs> That's cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause me and Scotty got to talk some business off camera. Anyway. What business y'all got? Uh, oh, child, I ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> what business y'all got before Josiah could finish the statement? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like nothing to do with you. Like. <laughs> oh, in the goddamn business. Oh, uh, well, then don't be making announcements then. Don't I be didn't make the announcement. I didn't make I'm the just announcement. Letting it be known because if announcements is made, I'm a one and no. Well, yeah. you're not going to know. Well, Go ahead, Josiah. You know that bitch got that puffer on and she feeling herself. But you know And I'm feeling myself enough to mute you, bitch. How about that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'ma tell y'all one thing. Alley now. If this bitch mute me one more month. <laughs> <laughs> they quickly, they quickly put a poster clip up in here and dragged us up in there. So. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and move to the next. Um, and I guess it's the last part, and um, I'll go ahead and let y'all. I'm not gonna say nothing. I promise. I won't troll. Well, until the end, but I'll let y'all say y'all opinions because I'll let y'all get it all out because I know y'all about to go in. But um. Giselle and Robin's reasonable shady live, okay? Sure. And the first thing that really I noticed was who the hell, who was this host? Because yeah, Robin yeah. Bryant, really? You couldn't even get the, the host name. Was Joe of Claire. The host was Joe Claire. He's a comedian. He's like a DC legend, like real talk. Oh, yeah. He hosts um, um, host- on BET. He hosted um the R&B Divas reunion one time. They didn't oh. like him though. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, yeah. I'll take my comment back. But he knew he was incorrect by Mr. No, he still fucked up their name. No, he yeah. fucked up their name. He fucked up the name. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, you know, this little the audience, the the Child, he didn't fuck that. up the names. He was telling um, us he was spilling tea. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, there was a lot of Karen was shading me hell out of she Karen was and she should have. And she was she I was like Karen girl. She was and that's how think of the show be ready. or the, the clips of the, the, the show. Like what did y'all think of that? Was it lackluster? Was it corny? Was it cringy or did y'all enjoy very it? corny? Mm-hmm. I personally did not see an issue with it. It didn't look bad and it could have been, you know, the power of editing or whatever, but I Child, mean it I, gave very I, low I vibration. With it. <laughs> I'm with Sakina. I feel like I feel like it was one of those things you had to be in the moment. Like the like the dancing thing, I don't think it translated, but I think in the moment if you were there and y'all were doing yeah. all the old school dances and the corny dances and stuff like I, I, I didn't see a problem with him. I don't get him much, but I don't think it was that bad. Exactly. But that, well, they would never okay. get a compliment from me, so I'm going to so just shut up. Exactly, Scotty. Well, I'm you know what, Tracy, the make. next time they have a show, I will drop my cash app, and I will take donations, and if y'all buy the tickets, yeah. See what uh, I'm see, saying? See, that's why she goes to somebody It else wasn't that tickets. bad, but yet you still needed donations for you to even want to attempt to go. It was a mess, honey. It was a mess. And the only reason why I'm saying it was a mess, shit like that is all. And that goes back to what I just said about when a bitch is not up to par, I don't look at them like that if they humble. When you humble, 
I allow certain things to slide. When you a humble motherfucker and you did a show and only 50 people came, that's good for you. You know what I'm saying? You don't think you this and that. You don't think that you that and this. It was just like I did something. This was a goal of mine. I sought out to do what, you know what I'm saying, my goal was. And whether it turned out great or bad, that's what it was. But how these dog ass motherfucking bitches downing everybody else and putting everybody else down and making themselves be so much more than what the fuck they actually are because they ain't shit. That's why y'all on a housewives show to begin with. Ooh. But that's neither here nor there. At the end of the fucking day, y'all ain't hitting on shit and y'all always in everybody else's business. Always trying to chop everybody else down. Always trying to diminish everybody else. But y'all bitches couldn't even get a hundred motherfuckers to come show up to you. We'll probably be looking at you on going. Okay, so I was, I, I, my next question was, if I would have bought y'all tickets, would y'all all came up with me? I guess that's a no for Rich. Yeah, I would have came. I would not. Yes. I would have made you come. I wouldn't have came. I'm Ooh. telling you that here and now. <laughs> Count me the fuck out. Is Let me, when I tell y'all that I don't do fake shit, I'm firm on that. I don't fuck with them. We bitches. know. Y'all hoes do so get Even if it's for your, your, your crew, the way you're not going to panel DC vacation. Listen, I know <laughs> everybody on the damn panel. Y'all can fill me in on that shit and I'll be able to form my own opinion after I'll that. FaceTime you. I am the, not. I don't want to see them bitches live. I don't halfway want to see them hoes on TV. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I wouldn't it's let so my arch enemy spend money on a ticket for me to go to that damn show. Come on, arch enemy. Not arch enemy. Well, I'm saying for I'm saying for future reference, if y'all want me to go and then come back and tell y'all about it, I go, but I'm not buying it. No, for real, like okay, really, be if any of the girls have an event in DC, let me know because now that I got promoted at work, I have more vacation time and I want to fly. I'm trying to be on my Scotty by Nature TV, you know. Oh no, child! Oh, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to catch flights, not feelings. Let me stop. Got a whole. Lot of I definitely got a lot of tickets to buy next year, child. <laughs> um, but okay, well, damn. I mean, we that was the whole show. I mean, other than the end, but. Any what was funny time? about it was Karen taking notes every time they had a misstep. Now that was some that funny was ass shit. That was hilarious. Yeah, Karen was, Karen was shady. Shady. Let me tell you something. The grand dame was giving me like this whole episode. Yeah, she was funny as hell. With her martini wig. <laughs> 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 that was a martini wig, wasn't it? Are we going to talk about? Um, are we going to talk about olive. um me line again? Yes. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and talk about that. So um okay, so the ladies all catch up at the event winds down and Giselle asks Jacqueline if she ever slept with Mia and Gord and tells Giselle to ask Mia this. And um and Mia eventually tells everyone that she and Gordon have never slept with Jacqueline. So basically that would be crossing the line due to their friendships. What are y'all? No, that's not what she said. Nope, that's not what she said. She said Ask Mia. She did say that. She never said she didn't sleep with Gordon. She said, "Ask Mia." And then Mia Which said, "Why stupid. you asking me?" And then Mia said, "Oh, well, me, me and Jacqueline need to talk about what we're gonna share and what we're not gonna share." She never said she didn't sleep with um Simon, Mia Gordon. Not Simon. Hell, might as well. <laughs> what they look alike, or Uncle Ben, whichever. Uh, uh-uh, uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you know what? Honestly, who cares? I just don't understand. My thing is, is that some shit that I'm down with? I would never share my man with nobody that I call a motherfucking friend or nobody motherfucking period. But the fact of the matter is, if that's what the fuck Mia and her friend did, and that's what Mia and her husband want to do in their relationship, what the fuck does it have to do with you non-married ass motherfucking bitches? Who? But well, I mean, Reggie, Reggie, uh, uh-uh, uh, that's now. her business. That's her back. business. We, but, but Reggie, Reggie, I agree, it's her business. But they gonna gossip about, it. like, like Karen said, 
it's her business and I'm not going to shame them for what they do. But if you come on the show and you're going to talk that shit, then we got shit to talk. I'm saying we anybody would. Okay, but my thing is, this is all goes back to me with Giselle. It's always the same bitch that ain't ever having shit to talk about. Or ain't nobody never doing that to her about her shit, but she want to do that to everybody else. Thank you, Kimmy. Bitch, mind your fucking business and get some dick of your own. <laughs> and maybe then you won't have to worry about what another bitch is doing with her dick. <laughs> well, again, again, in this situation, I, get that they I just the think show. that they're the I get same that they way the everybody show, else is thinking. Because everybody else is thinking she be too into people relationship. That's my only thing. I get that everybody thinking the same thing, but I don't think like that when it comes down to people relationship. If you want to fucking suck on whoever you want to fucking suck on as a couple, a boyfriend and girlfriend, that's y'all business. I ain't got shit to do with that, and I'm not going to ask no motherfucking questions. But then again, Bitch, though, Reggie, I'm a... Home. I'm going to play devil's advocate here because I understand both both sides. And, and but I, I, think, I just think your you. hate for, for Giselle is just what I'm trying to say is this. I get what he's saying, but I also get what you're saying too, really, because at the end of the day, Mia put it out there that her and her husband share people. And it, it, it is what it is. They they put it out there that what they do in their bedroom. So people are going to have questions about it when you bring it up. Okay, now, so now, do I, that now, do I give a fuck about what they do? No. But then you got some people out there that's nosy as hell, like a Giselle, that's going to ask questions in regards to what they do in their bedroom. And that's where so I thought me Mia, the only one is playing for that. All that key cackling that. <laughs> Why you so... First of all, I would have said, bitch, what the fuck I wanted to share with you hoes is what I've already motherfucking shared. Don't ask me shit else. Well, and mind yeah. y'all motherfucking business. And me and my friend would have motherfucking left. First of all, if that was any of my friends, if that was some shit that we decided to do, which it would never be, they would have been like, uh, Reggie, come here. And I would have walked over and I would have cussed Giselle the fuck out and we would have left. That's how the fuck that would have went. I just don't. I feel like a bitch that's old enough to be a grandmother should not be interested <laughs> in anybody's motherfucking marital business. I don't give a fuck what I put out there. But I don't think, if I, see, say, I just don't if feel I that say, way. I don't. Hold on, let me say this. Go ahead, finish if it. I, if I say that I do X, Y, Z, I shared what I wanted to share. And if you want to ask me questions, I don't feel like that's fine. I'm going to check your ass right then. But if what you don't I want them to like, ask you anything, though, don't put it out there. It's well, just my that whole simple. Thing is, I put out what I want to put out. I don't have to fucking elaborate. I don't. Okay, if you I don't have to. Give you enough, if oh, I my God. Give you enough of what you know or what <laughs> I feel Reggie, like I want listen, you to know. Reggie, we get, we get all Reggie. of that. But at the same time, when you put something out mm -hmm. there, especially on a platform like this, you're going to be ask questions whether you want to be asked questions no, or not, not so if you don't want that. no if you don't want nobody to ask you anything just don't say nothing about it at all no you don't have to elaborate but don't get mad when somebody asks you something it's the same way when i'm sitting up here on this platform and i give i tell stories about what happened in my life i can't get mad when people judge me for it because i'm the one that put it out there but my whole thing is it's not even just about judgment whether you ask me or not, just because people are going to be curious don't mean that it's any of your fucking business. Uh, first, wait, 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 Tracy. No, 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 Hold on. Hold on, really, B. Let me just do this. Because that's just like me saying. Wait a minute, Reggie. Wait a minute. I'm trying I'm trying to address this comment that that's that's speaking on me and you. Now, we did not pass a few people around no group. We only did that one time, and that was not his man nor my man. That was somebody that that was a a pass was around. A pass around kind of hoe. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what it was. And men are different, and not to make excuses, <laughs> but it just is what it is. Uh, -uh not men. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> well, let different. me say this: it is when I say men are different, we are different in that sense of that shit is not. If you was just a fuck from the beginning, that's what you're going to be for life. So whoever fuck you, whether it's a best friend, a schoolmate, a co-worker, nobody cares. I don't hear what really so How, how you feel like that's different from women? Because I feel like when it comes down to most women, most women have a 
more of a connection than just sex with the man. Not if it was just sex. I mean, for the most part, yeah, there are some women who can just be sexual, but I feel like there are not, the majority of women are not just sexual beings to where, oh, I'ma just fuck this nigga and I don't feel absolutely anything for him on a regular type of thing, <laughs> like how men would be. <laughs> Next topic. I'm laughing at Josiah in the, in the chat. Room. <laughs> um, I mean, well, guys, that was pretty much the show. Oh my god! Oh, well, can I say this final thing and then I'm done with it? All I'm mm -hmm. saying is this: I understand what you are saying. I'm not saying that that means you owe anybody an explanation. All I'm saying is people will ask because you have put some very salacious things out there. You, this woman said that she examined the girls coochie with a flashlight people are going to be like what what yes, like don't sit here act like that's not going to make people ask a question now does she have to answer no but let's i'm sorry on this one now y'all know i i don't be defending giselle but on this one giselle was just the spokesperson all them motherfuckers was curious because mm -hmm. you saw how fast sharisa actually put their ass over there when giselle started asking because the questions they all want to know because this shit don't make no sense yeah but my whole thing is why do it need to i'm not saying that i because mia put is, it out there right it's i know what, what i'm saying a is follow-up question when you hear some crazy mm, shit. why yeah. do it need to make sense though i'm not what and this is where i'm playing devil's advocate yeah you just don't I'm, like them. that's yeah, not, you I'm, just, no, yeah, you just being it's not even just that i'm not disagreeing with anything that y'all are saying what y'all are saying is just basic human reaction I get it, but I'm saying I get that. But just because that is natural human reaction, it's the same way of just because it's the same way of, well, you put it out there so you can't expect uh, a person not to be curious or ask questions. Well, I put it out there. So I put out there what I wanted you to know. So you can't feel any type of way when I check you and be like, you need to mind your motherfucking business. But Mia put it out there and she's the one who make it seem like she's comfortable enough to discuss it. That's why they asking her. If you make it comfortable enough for me to ask you questions, then I'm gonna ask you questions. Well, I she mean, seems, I she seems right, not to give a fuck about them asking. I feel like it was a right, difference she always between when Karen asked questions ask. and Giselle asked questions. When Giselle was asking questions, it was very on some judgmental type. It was. Well, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, but again, but when Karen same, asked her questions, I'm just saying it wasn't like that. I, I, I'm trying to tell you, we're not disagreeing with you. What we're saying is, even though what you're saying is right, me are the one who makes it a situation where she makes it seem like it's an open door policy. You can ask me whatever you want to just like i'm gonna put out whatever i want to if you got a question about it you can ask me so regardless of is is you know regardless if giselle was being judgmental which she was being judgmental mia opened up that door for her to be judgmental by making it comfortable for her to ask her whatever the fuck she wants to well let me clear this up what all that i'm saying is my side that i'm speaking is how i feel like mia should have reacted I'm not really arguing the point of the reaction that that should have been law. I'm just saying that that's how I feel like she should have reacted because I feel like she didn't owe them bitches shit. But how she should have reacted like that when she made it comfortable for them to ask her the question. That's my whole thing. It would be different because if she's doing too much. It, it'd be she's different. It'd be different if she, she didn't say. It would be. Waiting. It would be different if she didn't open that door and have that open door policy. It would be different, and then I could you know really get what you want it but I because she opened the door for that how do you expect her to react the way that because y'all bitches should. waited for two days later and a day later and a week later to be all fucking curious when a bitch say something that you're not sure about or you curious about you express that then when the floor is fucking open don't wait till oh 
that's just messy to me. Just me personally. I feel like when bitches got to sit and wait and, and congregate and discuss shit with each other and then come back and ask questions, that's being fucking messy. That's not I mean, we're not, so, we're not saying that they're not being messy. So we all whole, know that. That's my whole point. But again. So regardless of whether it being natural human reaction, that don't stop me from being annoyed that y'all bitches are being messy. If I had a question about something, I'm going to ask that question about what the fuck I was curious about right then. I'm just not going to wait and discuss it with a group of other bitches and kiki about it and then come back to be messy and ask questions to go back to that group and discuss that shit again. We would have just talked about it right then. That's what I'm saying. It was I get what you're messy. saying, but at the end of the day, Reggie, regardless of whether you're right or wrong, because you're not wrong with what you're saying, my point is, Mia does not give a fuck about them asking her ass shit. She made that clear that they can ask her whatever they want to. It don't matter what time of the day, week, month, year, whatever. They can ask her whatever the fuck she wants to, and she don't give a fuck. She's made herself open to that. So if these if these women want to be messy as fuck, as they always are, and ask her shit, they're going to do it. And it is what it is. Like, I, if it was Candace, I could understand if she would have, if she would have reacted the way that you say react, Wendy, another person, even Ashley, but Mia is so open with her shit, and she always make it seem like you know it's an open door policy. They're gonna ask her, regardless of how messy as fuck it, it is, because I definitely feel like she don't owe them nothing, and I definitely feel like you know she didn't really have to tell them anything if she didn't want to. But she, again, she made it possible for them to ask. Well I mean, in that sense, I guess she did make it possible, but I still don't even agree with that. I just feel like, because there's been plenty of things that I've been open about, even with my mental health issues, and I don't need a bitch to be invasive about that. I share what I wanted to share about my mental health issues, and any questions that I don't want to answer, just because I shared it out in the public forum or out in the open, don't mean that. I want to answer questions. I just wanted to get that shit out there, which is a different situation. So, but I, the reason why I don't feel like it's apples and oranges is because it's something personal of my personal business that I wanted to express, that I wanted to express without having to answer to everybody or respond to everybody's curiosity. Sometimes you just want to express some shit or sometimes you just be in the moment. And I'm not saying that that's the case for Mia, and I'm not even really just applying Mia necessarily. I'm just talking about the template of the situation. If it was just not Mia and it was just anybody that decided that they wanted to share something and bitches wanted to be messy and kiki about it behind the scenes and come back a week later and then be curious, that's just messy as fuck. It just goes back to you have to share whatever you feel comfortable asking questions about. That's really what it comes down to. If you don't feel comfortable as answering no questions about it, then don't share it. That's how I feel. Well, that's true. But then again, me a lie so fucking much. Who's to say that any... Who knows? And and fuck Mia. Y'all know I don't like her. <laughs> so why are we still on this? Uh, you know, the you know, last 20 minutes on this shit. You was so defending her. I was just about to say, y'all. I, I was not defending Mia. I was not defending Mia. Yes, we, you we were. were I wasn't because we I never said that Mia was um, right. We, we would definitely agree to disagree, you guys. Ooh, and, you know, just thank y'all for having this um, conversation. Um, oh, my God. We don't have... That's it. That's it for the panel. This is a short panel. It's the holidays. I know y'all want to be with y'all family. You know? Yeah. Your, your boo thing. Not really. Right. <laughs> okay. I know y'all got I know y'all got a little... You know, a little Christmas bay tucked away somewhere. Mm -hmm. But um, any last thoughts of this episode before we leave? Or um, very, it's, it gave very much filler. You know, very much filler because this is the only thing that we really all had something to say about. Charlie <laughs> gave very much. I almost didn't show up to the panel. <laughs> yeah, I know. You know, it's funny because I was gonna do like some games and stuff. I was like, "Child, this is a Monday. I had a long day at orientation." I was like, Fun, <laughs> you know. So, okay, well, we can go ahead and close out of here. Um, everybody, you know how we do go around. Tell everybody what you got <clears throat> coming up, starting with Scotty. Okay, well, I'm, I'm uh, Jesus. I'm reviewing the Real Housewives of Potomac. 
as well as their God awful blue face and Krishan show. The review was out today. It was terrible. Oh my God. Um, I'm also doing the Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion. And I plan on reviewing the Best Man series that's coming out on Peacock. I plan on reviewing that as well. Uh-huh. And um, let's see. Uh, Boys Night Out is on holiday. Um, what is it? Um, holiday hiatus. We won't be back until the 7th of January for the season finale. So, And we will be gone. Boys Night Out will not be back until July or August. So we're going to be gone for a long fucking time. Okay? <laughs> we already discussed this. We're going to be gone for a long time. So that's pretty much it. And this panel as well. So yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, yeah. so <clears throat> yeah, I got this panel. Also have um Potomac, what we're talking about now. Um, I said I was gonna do Miami. Life is happening for me right now, so I might not get to those reviews until next week. I do plan on doing a reunion for Love Marriage Huntsville, but that's also, you know, kind of not a priority right now. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. And also Happy Hanukkah to everybody. It's night number two, so yay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you know, because you know, because you know, somebody was saying, you know, Christmas this, Christmas that, forgetting that, you know, not everybody up here celebrates it, but you know. Yeah. You know. That's true. Well, that's try, That's why I try to say holiday. Mm-hmm. Happy holidays. Because you don't want to offend nobody, because you know, yeah. people be offended by everything, child. Can do. Fuck them. Oh, the- <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, really be- gotta be Well, I don't have to take this. <laughs> um, um, so I have um Potomac, Love and Marriage Huntsville. Oh, I'd be so glad when it's that reunion over. Anyway, Ooh, girl. Um, I've been reviewing Riches, which is so good, y'all. On um Hulu, I mean Amazon Prime. Oh, it's so good. It's only six episodes, so y'all check it out. Um, the whole season is six episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, they don't even give them eight. I guess that's it. What else I got going on? Shit. Uh, mm. <laughs> oh, Friday up next Friday. No shit, this Friday. I'm having my Christmas party on my channel. I'm going to be inviting. Um, what? Okay, I'm sorry. My holiday party on my channel. No, 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 because Friday's my birthday. You're not supposed to be doing nothing on my birthday. Oh, it yeah. is your birthday. Okay, yeah. well, come through and say hi. Happy Hanukkah. I, um, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you so this y'all right here. For that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot really we're going to be on Who Was Wrong uh, Sunday. I forgot. Mm. On Christmas. Yeah, so y'all check that out. But that's it. We're going to be talking about Heavenly and Mariah, honey. <laughs> Good one. With a receipt. <laughs> Ready is funny. your turn, boy. Bring out the receipt. Well, as y'all know, um, I'm almost at 240 subscribers now. So thank y'all all for all right. getting me t- to my goal that I set out. Um, Basically, I did well, post right. a video for you all, and I got a new goal for you all, so we get the 300 any of my Donna Summer fans. Yes, I got Donna something Summer. for you. And right. January the 30th, um, I will be getting back into the studio soon. It's going to be a lot of new things with the channel. Um, it's going to be Music Mondays. It's going to be Mic Checks. It's going to be... Okay. I'm also going to start posting um, our panels on my channel. Um, and it's going to be a lot of things that I'm going to be sharing. I got a lot of stuff in my phone that I haven't uploaded. So I'm also planning on doing a little documentary. Um, but we right. going. Is he muted himself? Or did Yo, you? But that's what my plans is. Um, January 30th. Uh, just be looking out. All right. Yes. All right. Oh, well, I guess it's my turn. Uh, yeah, that oh. was it. That was it. I'm doing Potomac. And I'm also doing Real Housewives of Miami, 
which y'all need to watch because it's good and y'all be playing with my reviews. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sure y'all watch my Miami reviews because y'all want to be tuned in for Potomac. Y'all need to expand your horizons with Housewives. I heard Miami was pretty good. I heard it is. But see, like I said, a lot of people, especially black people, they don't like to watch the other franchises. I have been watching Miami since season one. I used to watch it too. Yeah, so it's like expand people. Okay, they're good. <laughs> Better than Salt Lake, because somebody was asking me, why you drop Salt Lake? Child, Child, why did you pick it up? Yeah, I know. Mm. New, trying something new. And I dropped that shit, and the people asking, like, bruh, it's boring. It is. And they be hyping it up. They hype it up every season. Yeah, I ain't watched it in a few weeks. Since like episode three. Oh, and child. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta has been renewed. I just wanted to put that out there. (laughs) (laughs) Confusion. Not renewed. I I heard through the grapevine that, uh, you know, uh, lasagna, I'm sorry, Evelyn Lasagna is supposed to be uh, coming back to basketball wives. Uh, Rumor has it. Well, they need to put out the second half of the season first. (laughs) They need to think about bringing anybody back. No, they don't. They don't even got to do that. No, they don't. Mm-mm. I don't know why she coming back. Keep all that shit. Bitch, shut up. Who is she talking about? Oh, I thought she was talking about me. See, I, see, see, see. <laughs> I wasn't even talking about you. I don't know where to my bitch. Shut up, huh? Exactly. So apologize to me because uh, I wasn't uh, even talking about you. I ain't mean to. I thought she was talking about me. I'm sorry. The world doesn't revolve around you, sweetie. I know we really, get really <laughs> happy right now because we get out 30 minutes, we get out of church 30 minutes early. <laughs> what are you doing? I gotta, get, you gotta go doing? live. I gotta go live anyway. So mm-hmm. at with at 11 15 anyway. So <laughs> okay, guys. Well, thank Howdy. you all so much for yeah. watching now. Now who 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 the panel gonna be on next uh next week? Because I was it's supposed off- to be y'all. Okay. Me? Yeah, you don't even know. Is there an episode coming on Sunday? Right. I, don't think a, I don't think there's a new episode. That's Christmas. I'm just, I'm just saying. Well, that who next next period. Yeah. I'm the just next. saying who next period because I don't even know when. Because I don't even think T gonna be back by the time the next episode come on. And I was his, say, I, I'm about to say I thought Terrence. Okay, well, all his right, stream, his stream, next. his stream yard still fucked up. So I don't know how he gonna do it okay. right now. Like when we when we did Boys Not Out um Saturday. He had to come on with his phone, with his with an old phone. So I don't know how he gonna how that's gonna work. <clears throat> okay, I got it. Well, yeah, um, we don't, so we, don't, we I mean, yeah, so it's not a new episode until January, until New Year's Day. What well, New Year's Day? Damn, right? Still be hung over. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, hey. child, I took off work for New Year's Day anyways, child. And then we gotta be right up there on um Wednesday, the first week of January, reviewing that reunion, huh? For roasting. Oh god! <laughs> but um, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, is Cynthia coming back to Real Housewives? Yep, yeah, as a friend. Yeah. Oh, okay. As a friend like, of the season. Yep. Oh, okay. She's okay. been invited to a bunch of the events and stuff, and they got only got like a few more weeks of filming to go before it's over with. So. Okay. I, I'm here for a little Cynthia Bailey. Cynthia Bailey. Oh, I definitely won't be watching that, Tracy, on um, Peacock. I don't want to see shit that Evelyn Lozada is in. I, I, I pass. Evelyn Lozada? Queen's Court? Yeah, it's a dating show, child. Oh, no, thank you. She was <laughs> but, um, Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get out of here because we. I know we got some other stuff to do. So Thank y'all see? for watching, okay? And we will see you on Yacker Tees. Bye, y'all. Good night.